Hey there, my name is Eric Dunno, and I am a 6 through 8 instrumental music teacher in New Jersey. And um, for this video, I'd like to show you how we use Google uh, Forms and Google Drive and a couple add ons to do a musical notation quiz that's easy to grade, gets a real uh, feel. We give this to our sixth graders when they come to us. They've had band for two years, but we always like to get an idea. Uh, as to what they know. So I'll get started here. On the left you'll see this is my teacher side uh, in Google Classroom and on the right side uh, I've enrolled myself in my own class so this is what the student sees on the right. Um, this is not the assignment we're going to be working from. So first off you want to create your music test. Now this is something that if you don't know how to use Google Forms there are plenty of great um, tutorials online. But essentially what we've done, what I've done here, is I've created different questions regarding notation. And it works for us, um, and it works very nicely. When you do that, it automatically creates a spreadsheet with all of the different responses. So I'll show you, uh, show you what we do and I'll show you how we grade it. It's very easy to grade. So first off, I'll go and create an assignment in my class, uh, my Google Classroom. We'll call it uh, September Notation Assessment. You can give it to all your classes. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to create this one class, Mr. D's test class. All you do is attach the form uh, let's find it here. We're going to go by name. That makes it easier to find. Here we go, under assessments. And I've called it music test. So I'm going to add, add the form here and assign it. Now, as the teacher, the first thing you have to do is you have to go into the form yourself. You actually have to go in here. I'll maximize here. You have to view live form and create the responses. All the students' answers will be graded against the first uh, line of responses, which you want to be yours. Um, so consider it the answer key. So you want to go in and answer all the questions correctly first. That's what it's going to grade against. I'm going to pause the screen uh, screencast here. I'm going to enter all the data and then uh, we'll restart. Actually, before I pause it, I want to go into the live form to show you how I'm going to do this. So you just go into live form. Now you enter all the information. I'll pause it here. Okay, so I've entered all the information and now on the first line and I'll show you what that looks like. By the way, this uh, spreadsheet automatically is created when you create the form. Again, if you don't know how to use forms, you can find lots of different videos online about how to use those effectively. But you'll see here I've created the first line of answers here from my form. All right, so now what needs to happen if you go into your student's Google Classroom, you'll see um, the September notation assessment pop up on their wall. So here's the teacher side on the left. Here's how it looks to the students on the right. I'm going to maximize this here so you can see it. So now we're looking at the student end. So they can open the assessment and you'll see it's here. They're not going to add or any work to go with this. It'll all be in the form. All they have to do is click on the form and it takes them to the form. So what I'm going to do now is fill it out as if I were a student. Um, so I'm going to pause the screencast again so I can do that. All right, so once I'm done doing the form uh, as a student, once the student's done, it'll be marked as, and they've submitted it, it'll be marked as done. Really cool. Not much more on the student end at this point, so I'm going to minimize the window. All right, now on your end, this is where it gets interesting. You'll see that my response, my original response was here. This is the answer key, the first line, uh, really the second line. And then this is the one that I just entered here. My name is not Aaron Durkin, but that was my uh, pen name. Uh, I'm a clarinet player who doesn't really know much about music. So most of my answers are going to be incorrect. They will not match the answer key. Sometimes they do. 
Um, so now what you can do is you can get another get an add-on um, that is called Flubberoo. If you don't have it, you can find it F L U B A R O O. It helps you quickly grade and analyze online assignments and assessments, and you can email scores to students. This is awesome. You're going to have to allow it to access your information. It'll pop up here on the right, which is pretty cool. All right, so you go into Flubberoo, and you can say grade assignment. Um, you can also check your different options. So we can go into the options here. I'll show you how this works real quick. Um, if you want to, uh, this is just for your own data. If you want to see how many students get below a certain point, you can do it over here. I always like to check how many kids are getting below a 70. Um, I've, if they're getting below a C minus, then we need to intervene and see, see what's going on. Um, you can allow extra credit when assigning points to questions. Uh, that doesn't really matter at this point. Um, and you can use your own address when you're emailing grades and that's fine i like to do that so if the kids have a question they can just reply right to it uh, the default is a no reply email, email address so we're going to add that flubberoo um, you can print grades at your language all that stuff is not really anything that we need to worry about right now um, when you're ready to grade the assignment you go to grade assignment and first you have to tell it uh, which ones are actual questions, grading questions, which ones you're going to skip, and which ones identify, which one identifies the student. So the way I have my form set up is that when a student logs in to take the, um, the test, their username is automatically recorded. So that identifies the student. So does the first and last name, lesson uh, information, all this. I just say skip grading. It essentially goes through and it makes sure that they're not graded on a question that isn't supposed to be graded. Um, so we go through here, instrument isn't graded, all that information isn't, voice part. We use this for vocal and for instrumental. All right, so here we go. This is the question. Which answer shows the dynamic levels, blah, 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 blah. So this is where the actual test starts happening. And this is all the rest of the test. So that's all normally graded. Now there are other options. Um, if you want to grade something by hand, if it's an open-ended question, um, you can open, you can grade it by hand. I'm not going to go into that in this particular um, screencast, but you can play around with that. Um, we just do yes or no answers. Yes, either whether they're right or they're wrong. We want this to be a quick pulse of how the kids are doing, um, not a really deep graded um, test. So anyway, we continue on when we're done. And now you can select which is your answer key. I said it had to be the first one. Technically, it doesn't have to be. You can make any of the responses the answer key. I usually like to do it just first. Um, so you choose which is the answer key line. This one is the first one that I entered right here. This is my fake student right here, Aaron Durgan. And then the spreadsheet called grades has been created and you'll see here that my name, my, my fake student is in red um, because they did worse than 70%. So it's easy to see at a glance how many kids did poorly. Then you can go across and oops, you can check out all of their answers. I'm not sure why I can't go across right now. Oh, well, they are there. All the answers are there. Um, and then what's really neat is once you go to, once you've graded, you can go to Flubberoo and say, share grades. You can also view report here. I'll show you this first. Um, you can see the different grades, points scored, submissions. <laughs> um, one person has submitted the, um, the assignment and they received 12 points correctly. Um, <laughs> not all that good, but oh well. Aaron has some work to do. Um, now the next thing that you can do is to share the grades with the students. Um, this is really neat. So you go in here, 
it asks which is the email address you'll see that over here it says username that's their email address it's already uh, automatically recorded because of the way I set up my form so that's the email address I'm going to share the grade via email you can also share it via Google Google Drive if you'd like or both um, we'll do both and we'll see how it how it ends up looking um, you can include a list a uh, list of their questions and scores and their answer key if you want I'll include it um, and this is a message to include to everybody not just one particular student thanks for taking the quiz <clears throat> excuse me so while this is going I'll go back into the student side and you can see how they did and this is also nice by the way over here on the left um, you can see your your summary uh, you can see how many kids what your average was you can see the number of low scoring questions in other words it's a number of qu which questions got a lot of low scores so maybe you can check on your questions make sure you didn't make a mistake or you can really go back and see oh wow most kids got this wrong so I really need to focus my um, so I really need to focus my attention on that all right so I'll go back over to the student side and I'm going to refresh here oh, I guess nothing really happened over here I'd never used this part of it so anyway here's the um, email that they get back there you go grade is 12 out of 30 to 40 percent here's the message that I included and then here are all their answers Here's their submission. And, oh, sorry, here are their answers. It tells them what's, what's incorrect, what they got correct. And I find that pretty darn cool. It's a great way to get them back their information right away. And then you also have your information here. Now, if you take a look, Oh, I'm in the wrong one here. Whoops. I'll go back to the teacher side here. Um, if I go back into my student submissions, I can also do this. This is right from Google Sheets. You don't have to do any add-ons. Um, I'm sorry, right from the forms. You can view responses this way too. See all the responses that way. I'll take you right to the uh, spreadsheet if you don't already have it open. You can also see a summary of responses. Um, which can be helpful. You can see which, well, what kind of, uh, what percentage of kids gave what answer. So this is really great if you want to see, um, you know, where where kids are at. If they're all answering a question incorrectly but the same way, then you know maybe you need to work on a particular um, a particular dynamic level or something um, so anyway I find this helpful as well you can use that and again that's right from forms you just go into responses summary of responses that's pretty easy so again you're gonna want to use Flubberoo uh, as a plus as an add-on uh, to share those grades and to get a report for yourself and then you also yeah there you go there's your report um, and then you can also use summary of responses in forms to get all that information. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me, eric, E-R-I-K, at dono.net, D-O-N-O-U-G-H dot net. I hope you have a great rest of the school year and that you found this entertaining and informative.